I just wanted to acknowledge I cut my own bangs and <laughs> I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> good morning uh, welcome to my channel my name is Sonia I'm a second year PhD student studying algebra I like to make academic lifestyle videos and I just kind of like to have this as like a video diary to look back on later and what 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 it was like to do a PhD and also so other people know like, because before this I had no idea. So it's around 8 a.m. on a Monday and I still feel kind of tired so I'm just going to watch a video and then like write my to-do list and try to think about everything I have to do today while doing that. So here's what I thought of for today. I made an April like bullet journal video, so I would like to like upload that tomorrow. And so I need to do the voiceover. I have my TA meeting, just about how grading is going. Um, someone asked me to regrade their question, so I have to deal with that. I'm been procrastinating it. Then I have to do work on my research. I'm doing my comprehensive exam in the summer, which I'll talk about more later, so I'm typing up a document for that. I have to catch up on my algebraic geometry lectures and also on the functional analysis class. These are just two classes I'm auditing. So I think the first one I'll do is the regrade thing and then one of these two. watching my lecture and that always takes a lot of energy for me so now I'm just gonna brew a cup of coffee and rest a little before deciding which one of those things on my to-do list to do next. Good afternoon. So I took a long like two hour lunch and now I need to get back to work. So I'm gonna do my functional functional analysis reading next. And I've kind of been like neglecting this class because I was too focused on my research and on trying to keep up with grading. So I think I'm gonna go like way back in the notes and go all the way back to when we were talking about LP spaces, even though I already like technically learned that like a few years ago, but it's always a good idea to review. And then starting there, I'll just see like if there's something that I get and I don't need to spend a lot of time on, just skim and then hopefully get closer to catching up to where they are now because they're doing the spectrum of a linear operator now, which I don't like know that much about. So. Also in my algebraic geometry lecture this morning, I finally learned what a sheaf was. Like I've never formally seen that definition, so that was kind of nice. And it sort of seems something like a manifold because there's some properties of like things happening locally. But yeah, that was pretty cool, exciting to me. So it's later in the day and I've just been reading and writing my functional analysis notes for like the past hour and a half and my wrist like really hurts so I need to stop. I think I'm just gonna like take a break without using my hands for a bit and to do that I think I'm just going to read. So I'm reading this book, Birth of a Theorem by Cedric Villani. If you don't know who that is, he won the Fields Medal in 2010. He's a French mathematician. Uh, so this book is like about how he did that and it's kind of nice and inspiring for me when I kind of don't feel like working and I recommend this for anyone who's interested in what in what um, mathematicians do it also has some like pretty funny quotes in there and um, it's a pretty like easy read like I read 60 pages just yesterday it didn't make me tired or anything okay time to research finally She's crying because I took the whole weekend off. No. Also casually playing a violin in the cafe.
finished most of today's work and it's like 8.30 so I'm gonna sign off here and go watch Parks and Rec and then just go to bed early. Good night. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's 9 a.m. and I just finished my calculus tutorial and luckily only two tutorials left for this term and now I also have pretty much the same to-do list as yesterday, just doing everything over again. But first I want to spend some time editing my plan planning video because I was trying to upload it today. So I think I will do that until 10 and then tackle like my actual schoolwork. So I'll check in with you later. Wednesday and the last time I checked in with you was Tuesday afternoon and then I didn't film anything uh, and that's because I got like super stressed about what I was doing research on and also about moving which is all the way in like a month from now but <laughs> I still keep thinking about it uh, and basically like I was really confused about something so I sent my advisors an email but I was worried well, I knew like my question was kind of dumb and it's something I should already know, but I just like don't fully understand these things sometimes. So basically, <laughs> after I sent that email, I just went into like a full burnout mode and like basically just watched TV and played games for like the rest of the day. It's what happens sometimes as a grad student. It's really hard to work all the time and feel confident all the time like I think that takes a special sort of person and sometimes you just get to the point where you like literally cannot keep doing your research for like the rest of the day or even sometimes for a few hours and later you get your like second wind so today I'm going to like read my advisor's reply to me I kind of skimmed it a little bit but hopefully like I can fully understand what what he meant and if I do then I can like actually move forward with my research. Today my plan is just to like take it easy and like slowly work on research, try not to stress myself out. I also drank like a lot of coffee yesterday, like a lot, so um, today I did drink my morning coffee. The thought of not doing that is... <laughs> but now I just have like a herbal tea. <laughs> to try and like not have like the negative impacts of ca caffeine. So it's a rainy day which is nice for doing math. Um, so I'm just going to slowly work on my problem and I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> So it's Thursday right now and I believe the last time I talked to you guys was Wednesday morning so it's been quite a while and basically like I did study I kind of like went ham and studied for a few hours and then like got super stressed again and got a, like a headache so I just like didn't, didn't do anything for most of the day yesterday after that so and also like the headache and all that like I just there's nothing really to film and I wasn't like that much in the mood. I just met with my advisors and like of course I was I was nervous about that because I didn't really have any results to show them. So it's like I don't know what to say at this meeting. But 
then my advisor was like telling me what he was doing and that like we both don't know the answer of our problem so we're both like working on it um, and yeah he didn't get the results either so I felt like a little less stupid <laughs> But he did like think of a new way to approach it and I like this way, it's like a very combinatorial way. And it somehow like has to do with um, Pascal's triangle, which is like one of the cool things in math I think is like all these things sneak in and come into your problem when you don't really expect it, I guess. Where it came in was um, our module is a semi-simple module, which means it's a direct sum of simple modules and then the dimensions of those direct sums should be like the numbers in the Pascal triangle, one, four, six, four, one, or something like that. So that's what I'm going to work on today and the rest of the weekend. I've spent the last few days in like such a stressed out mood. I think that's finally over and now I'm really excited to work on this problem. I think combinatorics is pretty fun. I, I'm glad that it's prevalent in algebra. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on that and I hope I'll have a result for them by next week. I mean, I'm not gonna like expect to do that because I think doing that is like a recipe for making yourself stressed and feel bad, but I'll just try my best. Tomorrow is a holiday here, it's Good Friday, so no seminars and tutorials, which is very nice. It means I can just work on my stuff the whole day and rest if I need to, um, which I'm very happy about. Also, next week is last week of semester, so I'm quite happy about that. I, I know everyone's tired and it'll be good to like get a little break. Yeah, so I think I'll sign off here. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, and thank you everyone who subscribed like the past month. It went up really like a lot and I was both surprised and quite happy. And thank you everyone who comments. It really makes my day. Okay, okay, bye.